Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is called Everywhere Wonder. Here we go. I have a story to share. It is a little gift from me to you. You might not know it, but you have a story too. You'll find it in the things you stop to notice. <laughs> the world is full of people and places and things, all of them interesting, all of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. In Egypt, there are pyramids. Wow, they're very big too. In Arizona, there are canyons. You know what it's called? The Grand Canyon. <laughs> In the jungles of Brazil, there are leaves so plentiful and green that light can barely reach the ground below. You know that it's called the rainforest? It's very cool. In the high hills of Japan are gardens full of wind-worn rocks and clean white sand, but not a single flower. Wow. In Kenya, that's in Africa, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and blue wildebeest. Wow. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. That's a kind of fish. Hmm. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there is a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. Hmm. On the near side of the moon, there is a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. In Sheboygan, there is a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. <laughs> On the North Pole, there is a cold and lonesome bear wishing for some company. Do you see it? It's a polar bear. You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone. But your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime. <laughs> Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off this page and into your head. Now, he is a part of your story. There are other wonders yet to find, not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look and you will see them. <laughs> In the highest part of the tree is an unexpected gift. A blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. <laughs> In the deepest part of the pool is sunken treasure. A shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it, or spend it, or leave it there for someone else to find? In the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to, to find the one you want. <laughs> they all kind of look the same sometimes. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? Do you see it? Good job. On the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants carrying their supper home. <laughs> I think he has a cheerio. Under the bridge is a gently rolling river floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it holds a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? 
In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. In the quiet countryside are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday, you may find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. <laughs> In the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading lamp clicks on. That's very cool. Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again. The things you noticed today, all of these together are your story. Dream with them a while. <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It is a little gift from you to me. Now my story is complete, but yours is just beginning. The end. Thank you for joining me, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.